everybody. Welcome back. We're looking at some bridesmaids that went way too far. Kind of ruined the wedding. I just watched a bridesmaid miss the entire wedding then have to sprint to the photos. And I got it on video. What does this bitch think she is? You're late. They are done. They're done. You are late. Run. You freaking late so? Who do you think you are, late McGee? I cannot with that. Is she really just sprinted into that wedding? Oh my gosh. No thank you, late so. One of my best friends got married a couple summers ago and the woman that she had had be her maid of honor was not present. She wasn't at the ceremony. She ended up showing up a few hours late to the reception. And I thought that was rather odd. She said that she wasn't feeling well, which is like, uh, okay, I guess if you're sick, you're sick. But if anyone did that to me, I mean, because this bridesmaid didn't show up, I was the one having to do a lot of the bridesmaid's duties. And I wasn't even a bridesmaid. I'm still bitter about it. Did you notice that no one hugged her when she reached the wedding party? All right, so what I can gather from this is this is a destination wedding, okay? You are literally on site. You're in the same resort as the wedding. What possible reason could you have for being late? No traffic, it's not like you're somewhere where, oh, like your mom died or your mom's in the hospital, you needed to go and, and be with her. You're clearly not sick because you're sprinting. So why are you late? Hmm? At this point, just don't show up. Just don't come. At my wedding, my bridesmaids decided it would be funny to have a water balloon fight as soon as we started our first dance. As soon as we started dancing, they threw the balloons. Everyone got soaked and it ruined our first dance. Uh, yeah. What do you think? They spend thousands of dollars on makeup and hair and a dress for you to just throw water balloons at them? Not a single ounce of logic was found in this post. Oh goodness. You gotta be careful who you're friends with, I tell ya. I was not the bride, but my now sister-in-law was. One of her good friends was a bridesmaid, but it made the bride late to her own wedding because she hated how the hairstylist did her hair and insisted that they redo it. It's not your day. It's literally not your day. You don't get to decide that. Unless you look like you just crawled out of a washing machine and looked like a wet cat. You don't get to decide that. My sister's getting married. This is the dress one of her bridesmaids bought. Wow, babe, you look so good. Are you getting married too, or? <gasps> this screams jealousy to me. Like it screams it. Like it's a beautiful dress, don't get me wrong. It looks great on her, but save it for your wedding. Not someone else's. When half of her bridesmaids dropped out of her wedding, Molly Knight put a call out on Facebook for help. Does anyone want to be a bridesmaid in a stranger's wedding, my wedding, in 67 days? No. Why are so many people dropping? Oh no, that's so sad. Really? All right, let's watch this. Why not have a stranger at your wedding? Wedding crashers? Not quite. I'm 67 days away. I need somebody. When some of Molly Knight's bridesmaids dropped out, some due to financial reasons, another for a family emergency, she turned to Facebook. Anyone want to be a bridesmaid in a stranger's wedding in 67 days? She posted on the Wedding Connection, a Facebook group for brides. I was more or less just kind of ranting about it. Hundreds of women volunteer. The post has close to 700 comments in just a week. Where do you need me and when? One comment reads, I got a flight voucher I need to use. I also like to tear it up on the dance floor, reads another. I think I said something like, I will 100% do it. I live like two hours away from you and I'm down. Enter Kylie Cook. I felt bad for her. I thought, what would happen if this was my wedding? My wedding, I'm planning my wedding too. And I thought, this is awful. And so, you know, girls helping girls, I said, I'll do it. Knight and her sister sorted through all of the responses and picked Cook based on her proximity to Jacksonville, she lives in Tampa, and availability, among other factors. A big ask before her big day, several women saying yes to the bridesmaid's dress. See, this is the kind of energy we need from bridesmaids, okay? 
Why is it that there were people that were absolute strangers that were more excited and more willing to be this woman's bridesmaid than her actual friends? Listen. If you've got financial problems, it's okay. It's understandable. I'm sure it would have been fine to just talk to the bride and figured something out. If you have a family emergency, like stuff happens, it's okay. But for everybody to drop out at once, that's a bit weird. Someone asks you to be a bridesmaid, you show up, you know? You just show up. The important thing is that you're there, right? At least it should be the most important thing. All the bells and whistles don't necessarily matter, but just like show up for your friends. They're getting married, probably won't happen again. Just saying. My ex-bridesmaid was so excited to be in my wedding until I asked her to buy the dress. It was $80. Had she said something, I would have quietly covered the cost of the dress. See, this is what I'm saying. Because I thought we were close friends. I also would have quietly just covered all of her expenses, travel, etc. because loyalty and friendship mean more to me than money. Say it louder for the people in the back. She let me know she valued my friendship and loyalty by ghosting me and then tweeting about me as her formal resignation from the bridal party. We haven't talked and I'm happily married. I'm glad you're happily married, but um, it's normal to have expenses when it comes to weddings, especially with destination weddings. But the important thing is that you are there. Okay. My boyfriend has this really, really good friend who unfortunately just really couldn't afford to go to a wedding that we are going to in Hawaii at the end of the summer. And it turned out that they wanted this friend there so badly that they all kind of banded together, the wedding party, my boyfriend, everybody, and covered the cost for his ticket and his hotel. And it didn't end up even being that much. Like I think split between a few people, it was like a couple hundred bucks each. But the important thing is that that guy is there to witness his good friends get married. It's not about the money. If you guys are good friends, which I'm assuming that you are because they asked you to be in your wedding party, just figure it out. Groom's sister is told prior to the wedding that her dress choice is inappropriate. Sister replies she will never speak to her brother again if he goes through with the wedding. She is uninvited from wedding, then shows up to the wedding in this off-white cocktail dress. No, she didn't! Not only are you not welcome, but you show up looking like that. At this point, it's like, I don't think that you could really do that and not know exactly what you're doing, you know? One of my bridesmaids was completely plastered by 1 p.m. Four and a half hours before the ceremony. Oh, 1 p.m., eh? Dang, you're right. Pounding it back, trying to numb the pain or something. Why are you so drunk? The coordinator replaced her secret vodka <laughs> with water and she didn't even notice. During pictures, she made it all about her taking the perfect selfie of the group and got in the way of the photographer. At one point, she realized she lost the back of her earring, so she needed to call her husband to bring her another one, holding up pictures by 30 minutes. Fast forward to the ceremony, she could hardly stand and had to hold on to the bridesmaid in front of her and lean onto one behind her to stay upright. She attempted to help with putting my bustle up and ended up tripping all over another bridesmaid and falling into everyone's personal belongings. We found out later she shattered my mom's phone. We instructed the bartenders not to serve her and she threw a fit. That's the best when you cut someone off and they just like literally show you exactly why they were cut off. <laughs> Her husband also didn't want to dance with her. Ooh. Ooh. So she threw a fit about that too, stomping out of the reception. After the wedding, she came up a lot in conversations about her actions with my family and other guests who attended. It was completely embarrassing, but the icing on the cake. Okay, ooh, I love, I love cake icing more than the actual cake, I will be honest. She went around post-wedding telling everyone that I owed her an apology for not being nice to her and for cutting her off. Even though many people told her about her behavior, she didn't think she had anything to apologize for. We are not friends to this day. Y'all, we know weddings are parties, but save the total inebriation for after grandma has gone to bed. You know, like let's not, let's kind of like pace ourselves. We'll have some champagne when we're getting ready. You know, we'll have a couple of glasses of wine with dinner. But until the DJ hits the dance floor and uh, you gotta read the room, all right? Read the <laughs> room. Uh, we're all adults here. We should know how to drink. Okay, so if you thought these were bad, this is probably the craziest, but while also the same time stupidest 
entitled bridesmaid I've ever read. Get ready. I like you, but you're crazy. You know it's true. You don't talk to her every day like you do to me. You just said that so I would understand why she's your maid of honor, which I still don't, but it's your wedding. It was just a TikTok. But I'm right, aren't I? I mean, screw the TikTok, but I know what I'm saying. I might take as my plus one, we will see. If we both act right until then. Is that really why you didn't answer the phone earlier? Are you serious? No, I was busy, but I like how you don't admit I'm right. I don't feel like it should even be an argument for the topic of discussion. Arguing about it just makes me feel negatively about my wedding. Oh, shut up. Admit it, you don't talk to her every day like you do to me. And you just said that. Seriously, I don't know if you're serious or not, but you were going on about it. I don't feel like even fighting over it. I just want my favorite people to be at my wedding. Answer the question. Ooh, I hate this emoji so much. I don't want any arguments about my wedding whatsoever. You have to follow the group that I told you to follow. They were talking about bridesmaids making them feel bad. You're going around the small thing I'm saying. Why do I even have to prove it to you how much I talk to anybody? That's crazy. Girl, I'm just saying you made that up. You don't have to say that at all. I know you don't want me next to you because I'm hot. Oh my God! No! No! She did not just say that! But so are you, and you're fit. I'm not. Maybe I'm wrong, but it seemed that way. For you to just feel like you had to make up a lie about talking to her every day and being as close as her as you are to me. Okay, so I'm guessing this is over some sort of TikTok that this bride posted, and I'm guessing that this bridesmaid is pissed off that she's not the maid of honor. I don't want you next to me because you're hot. What the f are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, why else would you make that up? I just can't right now. This is crazy. There's no need. I don't have to make up anything. I'm going to talk to you later. I need to process this. You literally did though, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, I get that you don't want me to be the maid of honor because I'm way prettier than you. Maybe she doesn't want you to be the maid of honor because you're a... <laughs> that is like way too far like you 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 did something there and it wasn't even happening to me i'm upset for this bride that you just said that to her like actually are you kidding me right now Alrighty, guys those are some bridesmaids that went too far i hope we learned something today like not to be a total dickhead okay subscribe